Today we want to see if uh, the electric parking brake will be able to stop the vehicle in case if your brakes fail. All right, guys, I'm going to accelerate to around 60 km per hour and then we'll try to stop the car using the emergency parking brake. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going 60, I'm gonna start the timer and pull our parking brake. Stop. All right, so the car has stopped. As you can see on the timer, it took, took us about six seconds to, complete, to come to a complete stop after going around 60 kilometers per hour. Just to confirm our results, uh, we'll do it the second time. We'll do the second attempt. Let's do it. Right, we're going 60. I'm gonna press a button. So again, we're talking about around seven seconds, roughly. Going seventy five. The car comes to a complete stop. As you can see, the light is on, the parking brake has been activated, obviously, it stopped. And right now, uh, the car won't go anywhere. To keep going, we have to press the uh, gas pedal and only then we'll be able to drive away. As you could see from our test, it took us around 6 seconds uh, to stop the vehicle from going around 60 km per hour to a complete stop, which is, uh, in my opinion, pretty good result. I'm pretty sure that it will also work at highway speeds, uh, but of course the distance and the time is going to be uh, increased. Also we want to point out that even though we used the system multiple times during the test today, it didn't cause any damage to the braking system or the vehicle itself, uh, which means that you can safely use uh, emergency parking brake in case you have an emergency like this. Hi guys, right now I will show you how to start the car with a dead uh, battery in your smart key. So you can see that the door is not opening right now, even like, yeah, if you even press the buttons, the battery is dead. So there is another way to do it. You have to remove the mechanical key first from the smart key and uh, open the door using this key. Now, to start the vehicle, uh, there is also a different procedure. You won't be able to start uh, the car the normal way. So, as you can see, nothing is happening right now. You're pressing the brake pedal and uh, the engine start button, nothing happens. So, in order to start it now, you have to press uh, with the smart key against the engine start button. Only then, the car will start. When you leave the car, don't forget that your fob is not working. So it won't lock the vehicle. So again, you have to use the mechanical key to lock the vehicle. Hi guys, if you ever wondered where this hybrid sound come from, right now I will show you. Remove 
this plastic cover as well as the lock for, for the hood from here. If uh, at some point this speaker goes out of order or this cable gets damaged, you will actually see a message on the uh, information screen. So you disconnected the cable. And this is a message that you will see. Proximity notification system malfunction. So if you ever guys see this message, this basically means that there is something wrong uh, with the speaker. To replace the speaker, you simply need to remove this bolt and then you'll be able to take off the bracket and replace the speaker. Right now we'll show you how to remove and uh, where to store cargo cover in Toyota RAV4. So in order to remove it you just have to pull this part and take it off. And it is being stored in this area here. For that we need to remove both plastic covers. And place the cargo cover right here. Very simple and efficient method to store the cargo cover. Hi guys, in the regular Toyota RAV4 you will find the 12 volt battery in this area uh, but because this is a hybrid it is missing and right now we will show you how to find one. First we will need to remove this cover after this uh, this plastic piece comes off and this one as well and then we can remove this whole portion like that and here you can see the 12 volt battery hi guys while we were working on our RAV4 today our battery completely died I'll show you how it looks it says hybrid system stopped and nothing happens it won't turn on it won't start here we have our clamps this is where it gets connected connected this way all right because this is a hybrid our plus terminal is located in the fuse box right here so this is where the plus, the red, will go, like this, and the minus will try this bolt right here, this is the ground, this way, and now we have to turn on the Loki Thor. Uh, it showed 8.4 volts initially, but now you can hear the Loki Thor working. Right now it shows 11.3 volts. You can see the voltage just changed to 11.4. So right now it's charging our battery. 11.5. And now I will try to start the vehicle. Boom, everything works. We can see the ready sign. We have power in the system. Now I can disconnect the wires. Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to enable the rear brake replacement service mode in uh, 2019 plus Toyota RAV4. Uh, the first step that we'll do is we'll put the key into the on position. In case of vehicles with a push start button, we'll have to press it twice. 
after that we will switch to the parking brake button so what I'll do I'll first pull it three times like this and then I will push it down three times and in the end I will press and hold like this so now I will turn on uh, the vehicle into on position and now let's do it one two three one two three press and hold as you can see right now uh, we get a new light on the dash flashing park sign and also you will see the flashing uh, LED on the button itself this means that we have successfully enabled uh, the service mode so right now you can go to the back of your vehicle and uh, do the pads replacement or do any other service on the rear brakes now when you're done what you have to do is uh, you have to pull this button up and hold You will hear the motor noise in the back of the vehicle. Uh, this means that the uh, parking brake gets back to its position. Uh, after this is done, pull the button once and uh, the parking brake uh, light will stop flashing. Normally when you press this button the gas tank should open. If it doesn't uh, this means that there could be a problem with uh, electric actuator or the battery is dead. Uh, right now we'll show you another way how to open the gas tank door. Even though I press the button the gas tank door is still locked and uh, the way to unlock it is to using this opening inside the vehicle. So you have to use a trimming bolt tool first to remove the cover and inside inside you will see this black handle which you need to pull and the gas tank door will open. Uh, we use the screwdriver right now just to show you how it works but you can also use the hand just insert your hand inside and pull the handle and this will manually open the gas tank door in case if it's stuck or you can't open it in the uh, normal way when you pull the handle inside you will see this latch retracting inside the vehicle and this allows the gas tank door to be open in case of this rav you see the lock with the electric actuator where you have this handle in some other trims of the RAV4, you will see the mechanical lock and the procedure will be uh, slightly different and more complicated than this. Uh, we did uh, do a video before how to unlock uh, the gas tank door in this case as well and I will leave the link in the description, so check it out in case if your mechanism looks different from this one. If your battery dies, uh, you won't be able to open it from the outside but uh, there is a way to do it from inside the cabin and right now we'll show you how it's done now using any screwdriver Philips or flat you may find this little screw so turn it off counterclockwise until until this plastic cover will be possible to move like that so now you can see small window over there and the lever so when I move this lever and hold it I will be able to open the door the door is open Uh, 
Hi hey guys, if uh, when you activate your uh, reverse gear, you see this exclamation mark on the top left corner and you don't see the yellow uh, guidelines, you, uh, here you can change different modes. So this means that our steering wheel needs to be adjusted. For that, first you'll have to enter the service uh, menu. So put the vehicle into park and now you have to press and hold the audio button and uh, turn on and off marker lights three times. One, two, three, off. And here you are. This is a service menu. Uh, in the menu you have to go to function check setting. Here you will see the camera setting and you have to go to steering angle setting. Uh, then I'll press next. You'll see two buttons here, steering center memorize and the max uh, steering angle memorize. Uh, you'll have to press this one first. And now you need to turn the steering wheel all the way to the right first and then all the way to the left. After you've done that, just press this button, max steering angle, memorize. Now, uh, just go back, and now we'll have to turn off the vehicle, and I will start it again. So now when I engage my reverse gear, as you can see now we have our guidelines. The exclamation mark has disappeared and the yellow lines are back to normal.